heavyweights are on stage at the USA's. Before we take a look at them, let's go backstage to Sean Ray, who has a special presentation. Our next award is the Best Poser Award, being presented by Cybergenics representative and national champion, Derek Whitsett. Derek? Thanks, Sean. On behalf of Cybergenics, I'd like to present the Best Poser Award to Hendrik Tomasi. Right. Hendrik, congratulations. Thank you, Sean. Right. Derek, what is it? Congratulations you, Derek. From, from Cybergenics. Thank you very much. Cybergenics has taken the time out to recognize people that have put together a well-choreographed routine to the music and displayed your physique the best you could. What set you apart from the competition here tonight? Um, I would just say I, I just uh, tried to put my routine together the best I could, putting all the best shots I had and just relaxing out there and doing my best. It must be, feel pretty good to be recognized by the group of your peers that you stood above the rest as far as putting on a great presentation because you diet so many weeks and you train so hard and this is just an added incentive for people to put more emphasis on that posing round. This is a great honor it's just going to push me to go on and uh, try to do my best again. Well great, where does that, that name is a little unusual, Henrik Tomasian, what is the origin of that name? Well, the, the, the Tomasian uh, is, is Armenian originally, that's where I'm from and uh, it's kind of a tongue twister because it's Dan and I and all of them. Well, you did your people well and you're a great representative of the sport. Thank you. Good much. job. Here is the heavyweight class at the NPC Men's USA Bodybuilding Championship, starting with a huge Phil Hernan from Vancouver, Washington. <laughs> huge is the operative word there. This guy's got muscle upon muscle. 5'7", 238 pounds. I mean, he outweighs me by 30 pounds. I'm the same height. Phil started bodybuilding when he was a kid. It's a great family story. My grandfather bought me a set of weights when I was 8 years old. I was really thin. Had allergies and was real sick all the time. So he bought me some weights and I would hold them above my head as long as I could. He'd count for like a minute. He didn't know. You know, I didn't know. I thought that's what you do, you know. <laughs> and I'd go ahead and keep holding them up there until I hurt my back. But I decided to figure out what to do, you know. So then I started doing sets and reps and different exercises and so forth. Very humble bodybuilder, and he really doesn't know how good he is. But a very good show tonight. Here is Ron Flowers from Fresno, California, a longtime friend of uh, IFBB professional Flex Wheeler. They have trained together. They played football together back in Fresno, and I'm told that Ron could knock heads. Yeah. <laughs> He's also a former California winner like Flex Wheeler was. Uh, he says, quote, I idolize no man but God. This guy's a religious bodybuilder who uh, is guided by the spirit. It moves him. He's in the gym, working hard, and also a very likable person trying to encourage others to uh, pursue their goals and their dreams. Ron, it would seem to me, has a lot of potential, Sean. He's got a lot of potential. Today is not that day for him, competitively speaking. He needs to be a little bit harder, uh, maybe come down a few pounds, and, uh, you know, it'll be another day, but he knows that. And now coming on to the stage is a man who nearly won this show a year ago. A lot of people think he's going to win this show tonight, Craig Titus. He'll also be the first to tell you that he's going to win this show tonight. A man full of confidence, does his homework year in and year out. If I had any criticism to make of Craig is that sometimes he doesn't have full control over his midsection, which hurts him when it comes down to the scoring. He's known for his shape and his symmetry. A little weak in the chest, but he knows that. Uh, but right now he looks very competitive. Craig is from Venice, California. He has come to this show expecting to win. He says, this is my stage, this is my show. People ask you what you think. In 93, I said I just want to make top five. In 94 against Dennis Newman, I thought Dennis was the better of the two. And in 94 in the Nationals, me and Paul DeMail were neck and neck. They, that was their choice. This show here, I feel that I'm the best bodybuilder here, and I felt it back then when they asked me in the magazines. You can't come into a show like this not thinking you're going to win. If you think you're going to lose, you might as well go home and not show up. I like this guy's attitude. I like his aggression. Talk to talk and walk to walk. Let the chips fall where they may. I like that attitude. Generally, it fuels your workouts. If I had any criticism, he could be a little tighter in the hams in the glute department. But he's up for a fight of his life with Phil Hernan at 5'7", 238. Gerard Dente from New Jersey also expected to do well in this class, the heavyweight class, and boy, he is a big Jersey bodybuilder here. 5'10", 247. They don't come much bigger than this, but when you start talking those numbers, you've also got to back it up with that detail. Again, in the hamstring department, the lower leg department could be a little harder. This is a young bodybuilder, though, and when you're 5'10", you've got plenty of time 
to mature and put on those pounds. He has competed before, so he's used to being on stage. What does he have to do to put it together? I just think he needs to tighten up the lower body a little bit and add a little more mass to his back. Bigger, bigger, <laughs> the biggest. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Billy Smith from Santa Monica. 6'3", 274 pounds. Also an American gladiator, goes by the name of Thunder. Uh, this guy is very well-rounded. He's got the help of his wife, Kathy. He runs a nutrition program, puts people through routines and diets. And uh, This guy is uh, a jack-of-all-trades, but what he's most famous for around the Venice Beach Goals Gym is riding his Harley. This guy's a motorcycle man. <laughs> got his tattoo on the ankle there. Bill Smith uh, has been around for a long time, and because of his height, I think it holds him back, because at 274, he still needs to be a little bit bigger. Can you believe that? Bigger? Yeah, I mean, he needs to probably come in around 300 pounds to reach his full potential. You know how much food he's got to eat? <laughs> That's uh, eight meals a day. That'd be Ferrigno size. Yeah. Not an easy decision for our NPC judges, and they have Phil Hernan edging out Craig Titus by one point for the heavyweight championship. Phil headed backstage for Sean Ray. Big Phil Hernan, our heavyweight champion. Phil, you just pulled off the, one of the bigger wins there, one-point decision over there. Uh, how does it feel winning that heavyweight cut title? It feels great, but in the USA, you have to win the overall. Yeah, so you do. You have to beat all the weight classes. There's tough competitors. Well, last year, you were third place. Yes. Now you got the uh, first place. I feel place. good about that. I feel good. But was there anything that you did differently compared to last year? I mean, you were third, now you're first. What, what happened I in that year? I took 15 weeks off. About 35 weeks out, I wasn't going to compete anymore. Right. Then my training partner, Donnie Estelle, said, look, you got 20 weeks. You going to do this or not? I said, well, I guess I better. You, know? <laughs> you got fired up. Now you're about five, seven and a half, weighing yeah. in at 238 pounds. Are you going to get any bigger? Is there any room? Maybe I should lean up a little bit and get a pleasing, more pleasing look to myself. So, you know. Drop a few pounds, try to oh, go yeah. through it. Yeah. Well, good luck in the overall. Thanks you lot, definitely uh, did it's well. Tough, okay, Phil Hernan, heavyweight champion. Later, we'll show you how Craig Titus stormed off the stage after the controversial decision. Right now, let's go to Ted Williamson, NPC judge, with more on the heavyweight class. Heavyweights was an excellent class in this USA. Um, Phil Hernan, I feel, wound up winning because of his thickness. Uh, example on his side shots, when they did side chest, side tricep, he was just much denser, much thicker. Uh, Craig had very good development, looked excellent from behind, but it seems that the judges just today went for more thickness, a little bit fuller development. And coming up in our post, Dan, you'll see Ken Jones, Mike Ryan, Joe Lazaro, Dexter Jackson, and Phil Hernan. The pose down is next, but first, here's a look at 1996 top NPC events.